Hi there! Today's video is going to be all about how I became a sports chiropractor and a little bit about my sports chiropractic career so far. So when I was studying to be a chiropractor at university, I realised quite early on that my passion was in sports injuries and I realised that there was an avenue to go down to specialise within the sports injury field as a chiropractor. Um, there were a few qualifications I needed to have on top of the, the general chiropractic degree um, and there was obviously a whole bunch of experience I needed within that field to be able to progress in that specialty. So at university, one of the best opportunities we had available was to work as an intern chiropractor at AFC Bournemouth, um, so Bournemouth Football Club. Um, so I applied to, to have that position and, and fortunately I was lucky enough to be selected to be one of the intern chiropractors. So in my final year at university, I was an intern chiro for AFC Bournemouth's first team, which was an incredible experience. Um, it was my first opportunity being exposed to um, the medical team at, at the highest level possible really. It was Bournemouth's second season I think in the Premiership so the medical facility had a whole bunch of funds available to them and they had purchased and invested in first class facilities so their rehabilitation um, facility for example had uh, um, uh, quite a few different treadmills, um, which sounds a bit silly, but they actually had a reduced gravity treadmill called an Alter-G, which is an incredible piece of kit that basically allows um, lower limb injury players to gradually progress to running with 100% of their regular body weight. But to begin with, post-surgery, they can use this altered gravity treadmill to essentially run or walk with 10 to 20% of their body weight and gradually progress upwards from there so it was a really cool bit of equipment um, they also had things like underwater treadmills um, which again really cool you're kind of um, either running underwater or you can swim in place with jet streams pushing against you so you can have full swimming strokes without moving so it was just a really cool way to look at those facilities and obviously the staff the medical staff that were in the team were also incredible to work with so world-class physios world-class team doctor um, amazing sports therapists and massage therapists involved um, and it was just a really cool experience learning how to work within in that first class medical team and really learning that it's all about playing your part in the team, playing your role rather than having an ego and, and thinking you can do everything yourself. Um, most most of the days I was working with the team I was I was kind of observing but also helping to to treat some of the athletes some of the footballers that were having lower limb injuries any ankle issues or low back issues um, we were there to, to help out um, one of the reasons I was fortunate enough to get that um, get that role was because I had already started um, progressing through the International Sports Chiropractic Certification, which is a qualification um, that the organisation FIX does. Um, FIX is a is a worldwide organisation. It stands for the International Federation of Sports Chiropractors. Um, it's an amazing opportunity, it's an amazing organisation, sorry, that allows people to apply to work at worldwide games such as the Olympic Games. So to work at the Olympics, you have to have a fixed qualification. Um, so that's the International Sports Chiropractic Certification. And once you have that certification, you can then apply to, to work at these kind of games. So there's several modules um, needed for that qualification. There's um, several different practical experience requirements as well and and they give you up to three years to complete everything and you can start earning that qualification in your final year of of the chiropractic degree um, but obviously if you started at any earlier you wouldn't have enough time to actually get all the practical experience that you need to pass that degree, um, qualification so two years or about 18 months I think it was after I graduated from university I completed the fixed qualification and I was um, instantly applying to, to work at some well, um, some games and um, in 
the summer of 2019, I worked at the World Sports Games, which is a biannual competition for worldwide athletes of labor unions as well as some other groups of, of workers um, that they come together for these for these um, definitely competitive games. <laughs> although they're not, um, although although not many of the athletes are professional athletes, the competitiveness was definitely on par with with uh, pro athletes. So um, that was an amazing experience again because it was for a week in Spain um, in the summer which is obviously a good thing um, but it was a week amongst 15 other sports chiropractors mostly from around the world so there, there were one or two other chiropractors from the UK there um, but mostly the other chiros were European or American based so it was an amazing opportunity to work with those sports chiros from around the world that have different skill sets different knowledge bases to me um, and because I was one of the youngest um, Kairos there, for me it was really all about learning from them and, and taking in as much information as possible to enable me to kind of upskill myself and, and basically just absorb knowledge that they were giving out. Um, so it was, it was a great experience again of working in a team, um, of sharing ideas, sharing passion, um, of not being afraid to kind of get down and dirty and get stuck in and, and perhaps do the hard jobs that, that, that are needed. Um, but it was, it was really cool to work with athletes from, from around the globe um, as well as Kairos from, from America in particular. Um, and, and really was my first taste of, of working in that collaborative um, international team manner. Um, so that was a, another really, really cool experience. And then off the back of that, um, as well as kind of working with, with um, more local sports clubs, more local judo clubs and local pro golfers, for example, um, I was then able to get the opportunity to work with Mill Football Club as their first team Cairo. Um, this is something that I've I kind of started doing in in 2020 properly. Um, obviously, it's been a little bit dampened by the pandemic we've had, um, but I've been able to go up there um, when the lockdowns in the UK have eased a little bit. Um, and again, just it's such a cool experience and opportunity to be working with with um, athletes and and healthcare professionals at the professional level. Um, it's it's a it's a different experience and a different um, different skill set required to general clinical lifestyle, but it really helps to reinforce how I work with patients in my clinic because I, I I really look at everyone as though they are a professional athlete and I look at everyone as though they need to be moving as well as possible to be able to get the most out of their body and I, I really believe that that helps people stay injury free and allows them really to live their life without limits um, or at least without physical biomechanical limits. Um, so I'm, I'm truly thankful for everyone that supported me and given me these opportunities so far in my, um, in my career. Um, I'm really looking forward to what the future holds. Um, some exciting news, but basically I'm going to be opening up a, a high street sports chiropractic clinic, um, probably about April time once the paperwork goes through. <laughs> Um, but we're basically going to be able to incorporate rehabilitation alongside the sports chiropractic treatment that I'm offering in my clinic at the moment. Um, but sports chiropractic wise, I'm really hoping to continue work with Millwall. Um, once the lockdown eases, I'll, I'll be able to go back there hopefully. Um, and long term, I would love to work at the Olympics one day. Um, a lot of the courses, a lot of the knowledge, a lot of the experience that I'm building up is going to allow me to be able to apply to work at the Olympics when when they are on again. <laughs> um, which yeah for me for me is is really one of the big 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 career goals i set out when i first graduated so even to be able to apply to work at the olympics would feel amazing but hopefully one day i'll be i'll be working there in that team collaborative environment again um and yeah looking forward to what the future holds